Okay, so we're gonna get ready to do an oil change on 2005 Mustang. What you need is some motor oil. I'm using 5W30 with the oil filter, 5,000 miles. For a tool, pretty much all that you're gonna need is a uh, wrench. This right here is a 13 millimeter deep socket. You can use a regular socket. Me personally, I prefer car ramps or car jacks or whatever. If I'm gonna be under doing some work for a long period of time, even though it's not gonna take long, but I am recording, so it always take longer if I'm recording. I prefer car ramps, plastic. I'm working on dirt, so I just got plastic kind of keep it clean a little bit. You're gonna need an oil pan to catch the oil, and you also gotta chuck the wheel, make sure it don't roll back on you, and make sure you got the key that's the ignition. I always do that right there just in case if I go somewhere I don't gotta worry about anybody cranking my car up, messing up my engine if I don't have no oil or anything like that in there. Definitely want that to happen. So this right here is the drain bolt for your oil and the blue right there is your oil filter. What you're gonna use to unscrew this right here is a 13 millimeter deep socket or any socket. I'm just using deep. Okay, so when you loosen it up, you're gonna see it start dripping. Usually when it does that and I just go in with my hand and see can I be quick enough to not make a mess. And by the way, I should mention, you wanna do this on a kinda of cool engine. All right, so right now, you see it like that. So basically, I'm just holding it up with my hand. So I'm gonna try to do the quicker possible, probably gonna mess up, but yeah. Well, that ain't too bad. So right now, it's flowing to the drain pan and wait for it to drain. As you can see, it's gonna be a little messy. Okay, so right there started dripping, so I just went ahead and tightened it back up. You don't want to tighten it up too tight, you want to script it. If you tighten it up, do it with your hand first. Then, once you can do it with your hand, tighten it up with the wrench. So now it's time to get out the filter. With the filter, I'm going to try to see how you should be able to do it with your hand. I'm going to try to do it kind of like a light pack. A lot of people do it with the party cup. A lot of people don't have party cups. Me personally, I'm not a party guy, so I didn't have any. So. I got a plastic bag, I'm pretty, well, Ziploc bag, I'm pretty sure we all got Ziplocs. And the goal is for me to use this to kind of keep, you know, from making a mess. So we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so I tried to hand tighten it. It's a little stuck. So I'm gonna use one of these right here. Make sure you get this right here. Yeah, I think I'm putting this on there right. Barely in the room to work with, but. Okay, so you basically just want to do it like that. I'm never sure what one need call. I'm pretty sure someone, please let the people know in the comments. I'm just calling it a oil filter wrench. But you want to do it tight like that. And all you really need to do is get it to move kind of like that. Just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, get it loosened. I'm going to come back with the bag. Uh, man, I'm curious to see how that's going to work. I'm pretty sure that help a lot of people out if it did. But all you want to do is kind of press on like that. Okay, so we got the plastic bag on there. So we're gonna see this right work. It might not, probably not, but we're gonna see. It really probably come down to how you hold it. So you can see, we got the filter out in the bag. It didn't waste a whole lot of oil like it usually do, so I'm really not sure. I'm pretty sure someone let me know in the comments, but we got it in the bag, so. That's some work work. I believe if you had like a real big, like this right here, a little small one. If you had like a big one, I think it'd definitely help, but. Okay, so this is the new one. That's the old one. What you want to do, kind of just make sure the size them up, make sure they're the right kind. You can see that's the label on there. So it's the same kind. So when you get the new one, what you want to do is kind of get some oil somewhere from your old filter and put it around this black, like this rubber gasket right here. That way when you screw it in there, it's still better. So we got the filter off in there. So basically I just went in there and just hand tighten it like that. And by the way, this should go without saying, if you're going to do this, you know, I got my work clothes on. Definitely wouldn't wear anything you don't mind. No, wear, definitely don't wear anything you mind getting, yeah, but you mind getting messy. So, just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we got our funnel. Time to add the oil back in. So, we're almost done. But I will say this. Usually, you're supposed to measure how much you um took it out, what you drained out. So, that way you put the right amount back in. Uh, I don't have anything to really measure, so what I'm basically gonna do is charball it. That's why you always do. Ain't fail me yet. Knock on wood. But if you didn't know what kind of oil to actually use, it usually says on the oil cap. Let me take it off. 
So we got the cap back on. I ended up pouring all of it in there. I mean, it says for 05. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 05 from 010. I'm pretty sure all the same. It said take five quarts. So I ended up pouring five quarts in there. That's why you always do. Ain't never call me no trouble, no problems. But um, now what we're gonna do is check the field level. And that right there is your dipstick. Right there. So you probably can't see, I don't know if you can, but what you want is yeah, you can see like in grooves in there. I'm trying to see, can I focus this a little bit better? But, see, but basically see with the uh, second dot to the right, basically what you want is for it to be kind of in between, kind of like in the middle, right in there, oh shoot, like right in there. So what you do, you take the dipstick out, you wipe it first, you stick it back in there, and you take it back out and that where you will see where your um that is where your um oil is at and you can see this right here is gold so i mean we got fresh new oil in there so keep in mind when you stick it back in there and you actually crank the car up your level of the oil gonna drop a little bit because it actually the oil is cycling through the engine and everything so it's gonna drop a little bit when you crank it on but like i said you can google it this right here take four quarts the red jug at four quarts, not four, five, I mean, five quarts. So we know we got plenty in there. So that's just you how I do it. Like I said, you can measure what you can to go. I actually tried that by, you know, making a big mess and half of it pretty much spilled on both sides right there. So like I said, I'm pretty good it like I always do it, but yeah, that pretty much all it is to it. The longest thing about this right here, it actually trying to record. So I really appreciate a like subscribe to the channel if you you know happen to look at my other videos or whatever i appreciate if you did y'all stay safe don't forget you can always do it yourself that being said y'all take it easy